are your friends. Depend on the monitors. Work for peace. Violence solves nothing. The monitors bring peace. Peace brings happiness. The monitors are good, for they have shown us how right and proper our own form of government actually is. As the Lord spoke to Job out of the whirlwind, so do voices seem to be speaking to us now and in our day, telling us not to abjure all hope. Believe in our traditions, and night will once again, as it inevitably must, give way to the rosy dawn. All life is sacred. All men are brothers. Reason, not force. The monitors will protect you. The monitors work for your welfare. Be kind. Kindness is strength. The monitors are kind. Helping others helps you. Believe in the monitors. They are your friends. Here you are, brother and sister. Take two this small. Here you are, sir. Believe in the monitors. They are your friends. Emissaries here on earth. I'm sorry, sir. You've been asked not to do this. This is a violation of public code 347. I'm afraid I must ask you to stop. Oh, beloved monitor. I believe, beloved, beloved monitor. Public code what? Get up, sir. I'll be forced to take you in for counseling action. Oh, beloved brother, you have done much good. Much good. Bless you. Bless you. We do not ask for worship, sir. Only cooperation for the common purpose. I'm afraid I must ask for your literature. Reason, not force. The monitors are your friends. Peace brings happiness. Hi there, fun seekers. I like the monitors because they don't have any sex drives, and because they don't like to get involved, and because they just sit and watch things, and because they don't get excited much, and because, well, they're just my kind of guys. The monitors are your friends. Depend on the monitors. Work for peace. Violence solves nothing. 
once upon a time, there was a pilot named Harry. Pilot, girl washer, TV actor. He didn't like the monitors. He was working on a film with Barbara, the glamorous movie star. She secretly worked for the monitors. And there was... Stutz is the name. Colonel Stutz. Scrag. Yes, Stutz of Scrag. S-C-R-A-G. The Anti-Monitor Underground. And Blackwish, the general. Leader of Scrag. Oh, and Max, the would-be comedian. Brother to Harry the pilot. Mona was a mixed-up kid. She was a monitor trainee. The monitor chief. I am Jetterax. I'm in charge of our effort here. unusual hour for you to call. But it's pleasant to see you. I'm restless, sir. We have a, a saying, you know, too much prosperity. Seems to be a worldwide disease, this lack of peace. What good is peace? I'm lonely. You've come about Harry Jordan. Well, he says I'll stop being surprised. We've been watching him for a while, so is our opposition. By all means, recruit him. I'll try, sir. All this is taking longer than we planned. We've done a lot of good for the world, sir. By force. We're forced to control the world. We want it to be partners. I believe in what you're doing. <laughs> Sonata in D by Carl Philip. <laughs> the monitors are here. We're ready to put an end to fear. Oh boy. So honest and sincere. Bravo, Let's sir. everybody cheer. Miss Cole, would you fill us in on your picture? It's called Flight from Freddy. What's it about? Well, I play a, a poor but honest factory worker who flies a single engine airplane around the world in order to escape the racking desire that she feels towards her, her wealthy but unscrupulous suitor, whose intentions she senses are not entirely honorable. Get a grip over here, huh? Come on, let's get the camera down here. 
speak my mind. Well, that's very healthy. Well, what's on your mind? You don't just say it. Well, uh, you, you don't just say it. Well, uh, uh, take the B. Common bee. The one a bee uh, meets another bee of the opposite uh, bee. Uh, you know, walking down the hive, and uh, bee uh, A wants to talk, uh, communicate with the bee B. Yeah, you know, he wants to make it. And uh, well, bee A. Well, let's call him Jimmy. Uh, well, Jimmy just can't say it. Uh, he, uh, he does a majestic little dance. The bee dances. Yeah, and the other bee says, okay, and they go off together. All right, George, we're on a very tight schedule. Just take her up and fly a straight course, huh? Paycheck, you're fired. No. Oh, no, but it was all my fault, really. Would you like to have a drink later? Thanks. Geronimo.
How come a pilot like you wasn't flying with the airlines? You know, my brother-in-law has it easy. Two days on, three off. Yeah, I know. Regular schedules, regular routes, regular everything. Regular paychecks. You're a regular philosopher, aren't you? I am what you call a bug for culture. You know, I'm so crazy about classical music that I practically have every record that Xavier Cougat has put on. I love the monitors because they have raised the entire cultural tone of our society. Viva the monitors! Cha, cha, cha. The monitors are here Array to put an end to fear. Oh boy, so oh honest and sincere, let everybody, everybody cheer the monitors! Believe in the monitors! Believe and love the monitors! Love the monitors, Mary Jordan. Martin P1, Harry Jordan file. Residence 4426 Oakshire. Transmission completed. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight I'm going to sing for you a song from my native Yes Roll. Get it. And I'm going to sing it in its original tongue, which I created. It's called the Swamp Training Song. <laughs> Well, what do you think, Miss Cole? Oh, that's a very um, uh, interesting work. Well, do you think you could get me an audition? Now, Max, Miss Cole is a guest in our house. Oh, Harry, here you are. Hmm. This is my other son, Harry, the pilot. Oh, but of course you've met. Hello, Harry. What are you doing here? I wanted to apologize for this afternoon and about your job. Oh, Harry lost another job? Congratulations, Harry. Harry, you'll never guess who I saw at the supermarket. Annie Hagelberg. You remember Annie? She had a big crush on you in high school. She looks real good now. Her face is all cleared up. Oh, that's wonderful, Mom. Next time you see her, say hello for me. Uh, how about some television? For no more guns or tanks, Hooray. for military ranks, oh boy. for everything you do, Bravo. we, we give, give our thanks to you, dear monitor. My name is... My, my name is Attilio Settembrini. And I, I, I work, I, I work in the, in the, in the sanitation, in the Department of Sanitation for all of my life. And I am here to say to you that the monitors have made everything cleaner in the streets, neater and cleaner and better garbage for the public. See this, see this. No more spilling and slopping over everybody. So, I say to you, hooray to our, uh, to our friends. They're loved by young and old. Hooray. Lived you with the common cold. Oh, boy. We hope they always... Tell me, Miss Cole, are you merry? Uh, not yet. Neither am I. Neither is Harry. Uh, yes, I uh, know. The monitors are your friends. Mother, what are you watching? Elsa, fellows. On the I don't monitors. care what you boys say, but they've done a lot of good. Yeah, if you like living in a place where even love is organized. Oh, no, Harry, it isn't like that. <laughs> My sinuses are clear again, and the water tastes good. Yeah, they're great, but I still hate them. Happiness. Harry, Reason, um, not more. there is something that I, I'd like to talk to you All about. Men are Look brothers. at that! Yes, yes. Well, personally, uh, if you could bear with me. Let's go. Ding, ding. Uh, ding, ding. Can I go? Yeah, if you want. I hope you and Harry will be very happy, Miss Cole. 
uh, if you like to picture them uh, up there in that way. And uh, the thing that I really, really feel is so marvelous about the monitors is that uh, they are terribly, terribly clean. Whoa, the monitors, emissaries here on Earth. What do you deserve, brother? Are you worthy, sister? They are good, and we are bad. They are pure, and we are... Amen, brother, amen. Believe in the monitors, or the heavens will open up and rain down horny toads, warty frogs, and all sorts of slimy scale killer monsters. Really, beloved, I preach the end of Armageddon. Yes, indeed, folks, the end of Armageddon. It is coming. It is here. No more the shock of great armors with their clash and clatter on the darking plains. You agree, brother? You talking to me? Yes, you. Yes, indeed. The what? That Armageddon is at hand. Well, what elections, that force? Hellfire and brimstone right from the bowels of the earth. Can you let this happen to us? What do the rest of you say? Well, elections, that force? I'm sure. What do the rest of you say? What do the rest of you say? What do the rest of you say? Paisley Shaw. Max, Max. for the duration. In civilian life, I'm a feed salesman. Will you put that thing down? 
What is this scrag? Scrag. Scrag. S C R A G. Scrag. Secret counter retaliatory group, nonprofit against the monitors. And we want you, Jordan. You're a hot pilot. 14 confirmed kills. Harry Jordan, this is a routine request. Please open the door. Please open the door. Gentlemen and ladies, I think we had it. Everybody in the car! Find the trouble. Move. No harm will come to you. The monitors are your friends, Harry Jordan. Our leader is General Frampton Schley Blackwood. He was the one that was kicked out of the army. Oh, yeah, the pacifist general. The pacifist general. He said, better fed than dead or red. A lie. A vicious red smear aimed at overthrowing a fine American who's just as keen on killing as the rest of us. Oh, that's nice. The general, convinced with Tom Jefferson, his hero, that the tree of liberty is watered with the blood of patriots. It still sounds has... like double talk. Now, why did you have to say that? Now I've got to start all over again. The general, who, convinced with Tom Jefferson, his hero, that the tree of liberty is watered with the blood of patriots, has created an underground organization dedicated to the overthrow of our oppressors called Scrag. I like the monitors because in the neighborhood we were living at, there were many bullies who beat up on me all the time. And as soon as the monitors came, they stopped all this. Motherhood and country. Six Semper Tyrannus. Where's the tattoo? Who told you? Attention, attention, please. Attention, attention, please. Pull over to the side of the road and bring your vehicle to a complete stop. Do not be alarmed. Pull over and stop. This is a routine counseling action. You are in no danger. You are in no danger. Don't stop. Jordan! Jordan, come back here, Jordan! We shouldn't have done that, Miss Cole. We wanted Harry Jordan. You were gonna shoot him. To keep him from falling into enemy hands. This is my stop off, please. You're not going anywhere. We both know too much. Well, you told us.
Brooklyn. Don't worry. Scrag will get him back. Don't let that broken down barn fool you. Scrag headquarters. Aggression against a monitor. Penalty indefinite detention. Indefinite detention? I'm grieved. Why did you allow yourself to be captured in order to rescue Albert K-30? Who are you? I am Jetterax. I am in charge of our effort here. Where do you come from? Can I go? Public code number 468. Aggression against a monitor. Penalty indefinite detention. I figured. Yes? We've caught our deserter, sir. PFC Anderson. Poor Anderson. I could read the struggle on his face. Divided loyalties, cupidity, patriotism. Fear for his wife and children. What shall I do with him, General? Shoot him at once. Well, Miss Cole, I was happy to see you on our hands instead of someplace else. With you, our cause will have its uh, symbol. I was afraid you were going to say it's a uh, figurehead. Why, Miss Cole, you seem very upset. Aren't you? You just ordered a man killed. I feel, Mr. Jordan, that you can be of help to us. Well, why should I help you? For the well-being of your country. You invaded my country. Your country? Mm-hmm. Your blighted country, Mr. Jordan. Your rotting cities, your corrupt politicians, your inefficient and unjust police. Well, at least they're my politicians and my cops. Your cops, really? Yeah, yeah. How much did you personally have to do with police procedure or with the laws under which they operated? We used to have the right to vote, to decide which guys could uh, install parking meters or left-hand turn signals. Did you? Yeah. Did I what? Vote. Sometimes. Let us try to understand and pray that the monitors understand as Moses, who led the Israelites, groaning under the Egyptian yoke to a new land, understood that a new flower of representative government must bloom from the barren desert of our present plight. We're fighting an implacable enemy, the monitors. We're just the little people. Sometimes we have to use distasteful means for worthy ends. And who are all your troops, General? We are Miss Cole, a citizen's army. White, yellow, black. Poor Anderson. Poor Anderson! Your blighted country, Mr. Jordan. Your rotting cities, your corrupt politicians. Your inefficient and unjust police.
That's enough. We have a school, Mr. Jordan, a school where people learn to help us help them. You're offering me a scholarship? Yes. Do I have any choice? No. Then I accept. I got my high school diploma from the monitors. I was 22 at the time, a topless, bottomless go-go dancer. Had my own cage. But life was just passing me by. It was just one if you know what I mean. And then these guys came around. I must say I was really attracted to them, mentally. They kind of showed me how to open up my mind. They freed me from all of the base physicality of life. I learned a lot. You want me to spell? There's a gun. Mm. There's a rifle. <laughs> you want to be a soldier? All right, you got to be able to take this apart and put it back together again in the dark. In the dark? Take it apart. Put it together. In the dark. I don't think... Uh... You want to rescue your brother, don't you? All right. Get to it. We have a school, Mr. Jordan. A school where people learn to help us help them. Ready? you such a miserable little specimen. You have all these obsolete sexual hang-ups. So merrily we dance, Hooray. for now we have the chance. Oh boy. We used to be so blue, Bravo. but now we sing for you the monitor. Oh, if music on the monitor be the food of love, play on. Oh. 
the monitors are helpful, happiness comes from helping others, to be needed is the highest good, moderation brings contentment, the monitors are moderate in all things, health is life, excess is death. They're loved by young and old who live to in the common cold. Oh boy, we hope they always stay. Bravo, and that is why we pray. Dear God, bless each one of them. The monitors. The monitors are helpful. Happiness comes from helping others. To be needed. I'm Mona. Doing your lessons. <laughs> Coffee. Anything else? Excess is death. Yeah, can you turn that thing off? Simple. Happiness comes from. Oh, I hope you like it black. Cream fattens. Milk irritates the colon. Sugar creates acids. Acids eat tooth enamel. Oh, boy, have you been here a long time. Mmm. Monitors don't believe in sugars. Or any artificial stimulants. I like your head. I like you. Stutz to Scrag. Stutz to Scrag. Come in. Over. This is Scrag. Where's Barbara Cole and Max Jordan? Over. They're with me, stupid. Over. Where are you? Over. On our way to rescue. Oh, uh, never mind. Over and done. Roger. Scrag out. That's organization. Scrag organization. School dodge is gone. Do you know how to get out of here? I wouldn't mind staying now. I'm flattered, but I really want to go. Here's your hat. Come on.
Inside one of the headquarters. Over. This is Knox. Nothing yet. Out. Over oh, here. The drone. Max. 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 Oh, you look awful. I'm wearing a mask. Oh, you're right. I feel awful. You're going to feel a lot worse if we don't get out of here. Harry, are you all right? Oh. Oh, Mona, this is, uh... My brother, Max. It's Miss Barbara Cole, and that's Colonel Stutz of Scrat. You recognize me. Have you been swimming? Oh. Jordan, you're always with a beautiful woman. What's your secret? Raw eggs? Wheat germ oil? Steak tata? You can tell me. are a stone groove, man. Are you hip? They never lose their cool. Five miles. Five square miles of perfect vacuum all rushing toward a core of annihilated matter. You know what you got? Nothing. That's appalling. The world's first implosion bomb. Now you can help. How? Well, son, with you to drop the bomb, we can wipe out their headquarters and threaten the rest. Isn't that a little bit of, uh, overkill? Yes, Barbara? We're back at, uh, Scrag headquarters, sir. Yes, I know. How's Mr. Jordan? He's been busy. And Mona? Not a very good student, is she? We don't always succeed, Barbara. Yes, sir. Sir... Your instructions. Yes? Nothing, sir. Barbara. Uh huh? Among your people, between a man and a woman, what is it that makes... Why would you find one man more attractive than another? Um, sir, I think something's interfering with our communication. Perhaps. Then... That will be all. Bye. You need anything, hotshot? Ring for room service. That's right. Oh. Oh. Hello? Uh, they gave you kind of a dirty room. So, uh, well, I, I thought I'd, I'd just, um, <clears throat> uh, well, the 
truth is, Harry, that I... I missed you. And, uh... Well, I saw you with that girl, and I realized that... that I... I have no claim on you. I don't usually chase after a man. Oh, they sent your clothes here, and, and uh, your mother sent her regards. Well, after all, I mean, you're just a hippie in fine clothes. There's a girl in every airport. But I was worried about you. I admit it. Barbara, I was very wet. What? You're wearing my bathrobe. Do you want it back? A leaf drops on my shoulder The world feels a little older The curtain may be falling I hear the voice of a flower me, Harry. It's uh, the wave of the future, Harry. Yeah, well, I'd like to have something to say about my own future. We all have to choose peace or war, wealth or, or poverty. Oh, don't start making lists. Terrible place. Mm-hmm. You've been prowling again. Mona, this is no time to be thinking of food. Mm. Cheddar or gargonzola? Oh, either one is fine. Uh, uh cheddar. Mona. Come on. Oh, uh, white or rye? White rye. All right, rye, but I don't want the caraway seeds. Sorry, only sourdough. Oh, listen, the helicopter's right out that door. Or mustard. Horseradish. Oh, I love horseradish. Let's see. 
onions. Do you like onions? Yeah, the Spanish ones are fine, but I don't like the big white ones. Bermudas. What helicopters? Oh, big ones, little ones, you know, all kinds. Uh, oh, the salami. Oh. General Black was sure sets a good table. Stay where you are. It's all right, kids. Just me. Once rolled a peanut with my nose all the way down the vision street. Oh, Max, you never belonged to a fraternity. Well, I lost an election bet. Remember, we used to have elections. Well, I love the monitors because they don't make me eat candy so my teeth don't rot out of my head. Me make lieutenant, sir? And that's only the beginning, Carl. Clarence. Lawrence, sir. It's uncanny. Have you ever thought of going through life as Lawrence of Albania? You mean? Exactly. We throw in with the monitors. There'll be no stopping us, Culp. The world will be ours. You fly, don't you, Culp? Yeah. Do you think you could get me to one of the monitor command posts? I guess I could. If I had the charts. You will. You will. Banzai. Oh, Rattler? The world's first implosion bomb. Operation Overkill. We give them the bomb, and we make a deal. S sir, I, I don't want to upset any apricots, but ain't that treason? Treason? Now, that is one word I never want to hear from your lips. Yeah, I guess you could say there's a little treason mixed up in there. But there are rules in war, cop, rules! Rule one, ask no questions. Rule two, be on the winning side. Well, what was rule one again, sir? Run off with her. The window. Why 
horseradish, right? Right. Okay. Where are we going? Washington. Washington? What for? See the president. You're going to tell the president what we know about the monitors, right? Right. Lay the facts on him about that freaky bunch of bomb happy dingalings, too. Why are you so uptight? I'm not uptight! Just happen to have a natural, God given ability for hating. You have to know how to hate in order to know how to love. Spooky. Stutz! You know this is absolutely against regulations! Oh, Stutz. I've always thought of you as my own son. At two, Culp. What was that, John? And if you're captured, General, don't give them anything but your name, rank, and serial number. <laughs> They'll never believe it. Mm. Are you married? Who, me? No, the bread. Are you married? No. You see, that's why you don't dig. You have to marry somebody to learn how to hate somebody. I'm available. You mean you have to find someone to be in hate with and marry him? Don't be impatient, Blackie. We'll be right back for old Rattler. We better get an escape we're out of here. <laughs> you dirty! All oh, the language. <laughs> like the marigold, valiant little blossom, we will persist through adversity to our inevitable destiny. Not many visitors anymore. No guided tours. Not even a TV special on this historical landmark. But, sir, you must be. Oh, I mean, who's. Uh... Who's minding this tour? <laughs> I reckon I am. But I warn you, business has been far from brisk, Mr. Jordan. You are Harry Jordan. I've watched you on TV. Oh, yes, I am. I don't even get a chance to use this much anymore. But then who makes the decision? They do. The monitors. If you think I'm put out, you should hear what certain parties in the Kremlin think. Slavic languages have such a rich vocabulary of invective. You don't sound very optimistic, sir. The monitors have a vision, no doubt about it. But like most missionaries, they just don't understand why people for whom they do so much good don't appreciate it. I can tell you, as a grassroots politician, it just won't work out. If there's good to be done, people have to do it themselves or it won't stick. That's why I'm waiting. Waiting for what? Mm. I don't know for sure. But it's my duty to be here when it happens. Maybe you're right. Oh, I'm right.
right, Mr. Jordan. I'd stake my life on it. That's what duty means, doesn't it? Come on, Mona, Mary. Where? I think it's time I do what I should do. little people salute the monitors. We, the unsung heroes of our society, the truck drivers, the mailmen, the guys who put holes in the donuts, at last have all the law and order we need. That's why I say, up the monitors. See what's going on in the general's office. Harry! Oh, not now, Barbara. Oh, Harry, please. Harry, please what? Harry, please don't do anything foolish. You mean you want me to be careful? I mean, I don't want you to do anything to hurt them. The monitors. Hmm. Choose up sides or go along the bench. You, <laughs> miss. That's my bar, my stud, and that's my blood. And get it back. Look, find your keepers. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, baby, don't do that, lady. <laughs> What's the rush, sweetie? I'm getting out of here. Oh, it won't hurt you. You can say that again. But you're sure gonna bung up two million other poor suckers. This gadget is set to blow up in... in 20 minutes. We'll turn it off. How? Beautiful. There's one consolation, though. When that thing blows up, neither of you two are going to be among the walking wounded. So long, gang. You better get out of here. I'm going to it know. won't go off. <laughs> I'm going to deliver it to your friends. Can I? I'm going with you. Oh, it's death. I'm going with you.
means, Mr. Jordan, come ahead. Perhaps we can talk. You've got to leave here right now. I see. Easy. I'm learning about human nature. <laughs> it isn't easy, is it? No, it isn't. But you meant something beyond the words. What? Oh, Jetterax, you're not from here. Earth? That changes nothing. Not our acts nor our motives. Oh. That's what you've learned about human nature. <sighs> My boy, our obligation to the entire Universal Brotherhood of intelligent beings has kept us here. Jellarax, you've got less than five minutes. You'll die with it, both of you. Oh, Lee, please! Yeah, well, there's still time. No. My friends, we're staying. All missionary services expect casualties. I'm giving the orders. Give them. We monitors may not kill. We may not indulge in all the subtleties of human cruelties and violence. But we know how to die, Mr. Jordan. I don't want you to die. Barbara doesn't want you to die. Do you know what you do want, Mr. Jordan? Yes, of course I know what we want, what I want. I want you to go home, wherever the hell that is. Never by force. Jetterax, I'm a coward. I swear I am. This thing is going to explode or implode or whatever weird thing it does in a... Three minutes. Three minutes. Disarm it. We can't. You can't turn it off. Will you leave? Oh. Oh. Mm. Will you leave? Will you? Will you leave? Will any of you just get out of here? admit, Mr. Jordan, we've been able to look into your heads. But I don't think we have ever or could ever fathom your hearts. You're so right. You know what it is to weep, to really cry? Do you ever laugh? Do you ever get stinking, swacked, drunk? You don't even understand why men kill. How the hell do you expect to govern them? Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Stink. I should have known that anything that Blackwish and Stutz had had their hands on would end up like this. Now, Mr. Jordan, we are leaving. What? You're leaving? You won. You won hands down. You don't have to go. You said yourself. I said we would never go by force. I was recalled by Central before you arrived with the General's device. But then why? The price is too great. Every one of those red pustules, a trouble spot. Well, you have weapons. You have all the equipment you need to stay in power. We're willing to die. We are not willing to kill in the name of good. 
We have the choice of remaining and killing or leaving. No, I don't laugh, weep, or get drunk, Mr. Jordan. I only serve. Now, that's no longer possible. Clearly, it's too early in your history for us. Goodbye, my child. I only hope it isn't too late in your history for... Goodbye, Mr. Jordan. Harry. Goodbye, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. 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 Leamy? Poroski? Mmm. Delicious. They had them flown over especially for the occasion. Uh, along with a case of vodka and a tureen of borscht. Everybody wants to award this boy some kind of a medal. The Thais want to present him with the Order of the White Elephant. Abyssinia is arranging to present the Order of the Solomon Seal. Mexico, the Aztec Eagle. And they are talking about awarding the Order of Lenin. I think you know General Blackwish, Colonel Stutz, Major Culp, my new military advisors. Oh, yes, Mr. President, we're old friends. Oh, now, let's let bygones be bygones. We have a lot of work to do, a better world to build. I think Major Culp and I heartily agree on that, General. Well, what'll it be, Mr. Jordan? You name it. Medal of Honor, lifelong pension, some useful status-conferring job? Uh, no, thank you, Mr. President, but no. Well, what was that? is more like the good old, bad old days. He offered me some food, and then uh, told me that Studs, Culp, and Blackwish were going to be his military advisor. So I walked out. <laughs> well, here we are. Two guys, two gals. The guys haven't got jobs. Hey, my imitation of Mr. Mibbs.
right? Well, I... I think you're very nice. It's, uh, Hard to say without a script. Wait. I, uh... I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I, I said it. I love you. That's got to be about the funniest thing that's happened to you all day, huh? Look, this is a serious thing. You don't choke with a serious thing like this. This is an apocalyptic moment. You don't screw around with apocalyptic moment. <laughs> Exactly the same feelings. Could you describe those feelings? into your heads. But I don't think we have ever or could ever fathom your hearts. All right, snap it up there. Snap it up. Move along there, man. Congratulations, gentlemen. You are now in. The Army of the United States welcomes you. Try to tell us 